This beautiful piece of vintage gear is a DBX 119. It's an expander compressor. The build quality is awesome. I like that there's hex screws holding the knobs on. Let's see if I can focus on that. Doesn't seem to want to. Let's see if I can find one of the larger knob and get it in focus. There we go. So you can't just yank those knobs off. I don't know why I like that. I just like it. And DBX has a lot of newer products. Their original products, I believe this was one of them, made over 40 years ago. And built very well. There's some interesting things about it, like every DBX model that's like this I've seen has a this plastic top plate. I believe it's plastic and uh, it's supposed to move around like that. That's how it's made. This piece is aluminum. This piece does not move around. Then we have some nice side cheeks here. Wood side cheeks. And if we spin it around and go to the back. We can see it was made in Waltham, Massachusetts which is in the States. And a lot of these units are, the RCAs are not doing so well. The connections here. Now for what I like to use it for, which is putting synths and drum, drum machines and samplers through it, it would be awesome if it had quarter inch inputs and outputs, but hey, it's fine as it is. It was made originally to expand the sound that was compressed onto either a record or I think more commonly a reel-to-reel -reel or even cassette. So what it does is expands the information that's already on there and I haven't tried it in that application like I said I use it for drum machines, synths, samplers and for that application it's super cool. I'm very sorry I'm not going to set it up and and uh, do a sound demo. There's already some sound demos out there. I what I wanted to do was just give you my opinion on it. Oh, here's the bottom. Another one of those plastic pieces that moves around. So basically, you know, for the production aspect of it all, not the hi-fi, but the production, you can put a sound through this that might be a little bit sterile and like a digital synth or something, and it'll warm it up. It does have a, a tone to it, a color. It does color the sound which I like and it's also awesome for sending drums through like uh, especially hip-hop drums and stuff like that you can really crush them so there it is the DBX 119 I like it I uh, used it for a while I'm not gonna keep it I'm selling it and the reason is I can get very very similar results from both my Boss BE5 compressor, I feel it's pretty similar, although some people might say that my ears aren't working. And I can also get the results that I want from the DAW that I use, which is Acid 7. So I really, this to me, this is a little bit unnecessary. It's just more gear sitting around. So that's why I'm going to pass it on, let someone else enjoy it. And as much as I do like how they look and the nostalgia of it all, and this unit in particular being so clean... You know, I don't want to hoard gear, so there you go. There's my opinion on the DBX 119. Thank you so much.